Hey there, Libra. Uh, welcome to your reading for December. I mean, I'm sorry, the year of 2017. This is your financial reading for 2017. Uh, I just got done doing my December reading, or my December uh, 12th, the weekly reading, so that's why I said December. But this is your 2017 career and financial reading. It's been a great year uh, pretty much for everybody so far. I think that's probably because I think 2017 a lot of the pressure comes off for a lot of signs and you know I think it's a little bit easier like I've been saying there will always be challenges but I definitely think it's a little bit nicer friendlier financial energy in 2017 so um, let's see what comes up for you also make sure to check out astrojar.com a lot of the readers are also releasing 2017 readings around the same time so if you're looking for more 2017 predictions and things like that check out astrojar.com uh, but let's see what's coming up for you and again it looks like a good year um <clears throat> you have some uh, very similar challenges to uh gemini uh which i don't think will be you know which i don't think will be a big deal uh, you start with the Three of Diamonds. Um, three of Diamonds is a card of doing something new. Again, if your job doesn't make you happy, if your business doesn't make you happy, this is very simply a card of doing something new. It says do something different, do something new, and that will make you happier. Do something you've never done before, and uh, that could be very profitable for you as well. You also have the Ace of Diamonds. Again, same thing. Do something new, do something different. Um, it, it's a card of innovation. So if you do that, I think you'll be very profitable for you, actually, in general, financially. Uh, also a card that says watch out for um, legal paperwork if you're involved in anything legal that is also financial then definitely um, be very you know cautious of those things um, you know lawsuits and things like that and double check all paperwork go over it and go over it again and go over it again um, you know I know that's annoying but you definitely you could find something that could benefit you actually uh, with this card so just be careful of those things next you have the six of clubs I mean really good card card of success and abundance it's also a card of progress being made so I would expect and do feel that a lot of you will be making progress financially and also making progress on goals as well and making progress on uh, things like paying off debts and all this other stuff. A lot of you could be seeing, it's like uh, maybe last year in the past few years, you've been thinking, wow, I'm never going to be able to pay off these debts. It's not going to happen. But I think like this year, you could be, you know, if you are somebody who's in debt, you could be saying, you know what? Oh, look, I, could, I can do this. I can do that. And boom, I'll have it paid off. And it's like a lot of you are going to see how things are possible. And I think it's going to make you feel really good. And I actually, because of that, I think you'll be earning more money. Like, you know, how just because you're thinking more positively, you're just automatically make even more. So um, I really like to see that for you as well. Also a card of education. Like I said earlier, um, you're going to hear me preach about education pretty much nonstop because uh, learning things again I said in the 2016 readings I'm going to say it again 2017 2018 2019 uh, education is going to be directly profitable from here on out for people learning new things is going to make you more money it, plain and simple it doesn't matter how you learn reading books watching YouTube videos watching classes taking online courses doesn't matter but those things are going to be directly profitable for you, even if you're retired. You know, um, you know, a lot of retirees and things are are looking to start side businesses right now and all that. So, um, learning about that could be very beneficial for you. Next, you have the Ace of Diamonds, like I said, the card of innovation, and also stepping off on a new path. I really do feel like a lot of you, um, even if you're shaking your head no, that you don't think it's possible, I think a lot of you are going to end up on a new path financially this year. That's going to be quite surprising. It it, it feels directly surprising. Like you're at the end of the year, you're going to be like, wow. That was surprising, to say the least. And, um, you know, I think it's going to be very good for you, this new path, and very profitable for you as well. Uh, also, just a very good money card. Just says money will be coming in, so I really like to see that. Next, you have the Seven of Spades. Seven of Spades is about letting go of things, letting go of fears and worries and all this other stuff. So definitely don't allow fears to control you this this year and um, definitely let go of all those things, all, all past stuff. And a lot of you might be hanging on to something financially that you really just no longer need. So uh, let that go. Um, this is one of those cards, it might sound stupid, but you may be paying for two Netflix subscriptions or something like that. So make sure to look at your finances and see if you're paying for something that you just don't need anymore. Next, you have the Jack of Clubs. Looking towards the future, I actually think a lot of you are going to feel a lot more positive where maybe you've been feeling a little bit down. And uh, so it's going to make you think about the future, plan future goals, plan future visions, ideas, and uh, it's going to be a really good thing for you. Also a very good card for learning. Again, learning new things about making money. I think that would be very beneficial for you. It's also a card of friends 
You have the five of hearts. So this year, be careful of lending money to friends. It came up for Gemini. Um, definitely, you know, maybe totally avoid uh, lending money to friends um, because uh, <clears throat> it, you might not get it back. So just be careful of friendships and, and avoid lending money to people, even family, um, if you can't do it because you probably aren't going to get it back. Um, that's definitely going to be a challenge for you this year um, and, uh, you know, it could be something that, you know, you shouldn't do so just watch out for that uh, but you end with the nine of clubs really good card of opportunities and success and abundance and growth so really great card it is a card of again learning and it's also a card of taking opportunities this card doesn't say uh you know this card basically says 2017 has the you have the opportunity to make a ton of money and more than you've ever seen in your life but you have to take those advantage of those opportunities. You can't just do nothing and expect for money to come in. So I'd say maybe that's the one other difficult part of 2017 for you, Libra, is that you're going to have to work hard to get these, to get success, to get the things that you want. But it will be extremely rewarding and uh, could lead to a lot of recognition and standing out and things like that as well. So that's also important. But it actually, it looks like a really good year financially. Um, so yeah, it looks good. Thank you for watching and enjoy your 2017.